Today is a very special day, as we honour Herman Müller and his passionate dedication to psychosomatics, the psychosomatic therapy process, and all the lives and hearts he has touched and changed through this experience. Herman was born in Pune, India, to A. H. Müller and Gwendoline Bernadette Harley. His father was a famous early 20th century painter in India. The picture you can see on the screen was one of his paintings. Herman's father was a quiet, contemplative, spiritual man, but also an artist in great demand. Herman had two older sisters, Jem, Gwendoline Allen, and Winnie, Winifred Rose. At an early age, nine, Herman went to Jaipur to attend the newly opened St. Xavier's School and boarded with a family until graduating in 1953. It was during his school years that his interest in sport was generated. He excelled in sports, loved team sports, especially soccer and field hockey and also athletics. Herman stayed on in St. Xavier's for five years as a teacher and also an athletics coach studying the finer form of movement and the structure of the body for peak performance. He has drawn much inspiration from his foundation in this work. From 1958 to 1967, Herman joined the tea plantations in Assam as an assistant manager at first, then manager. He was to meet his first wife, Alison, and married in 1963 and soon their daughters Gillian and then Stacy arrived. With a young family it was decided to migrate to Australia, and in 1967 Herman and his family moved to Papua New Guinea to manage copra and cacao plantations. Their new son Adrian was born here. After six years in Madang, his first marriage ended, and Herman moved to Bali plantations on an island of the Papua New Guinea coast. On Bali Plantation, Herman's job was overseeing native men much larger than he, all having machetes to carry out their work on the plantation. Commanding respect, looking individuals in the eye, and being fair was essential to survival. Learning how to manage a large labour force in primitive conditions was character building. His ability to read people their emotions, expressions and body language became extremely heightened. It was on this island where he was to meet his second wife, Barbara. In 1978, Herman moved to Mount Tambourine to live in Australia with his new wife. Here, two sons, Sean and Nicholas, were born. From 1978 to 1985, Herman joined the Basel Stafford Intellectual Handicap Services, where he worked with the rehabilitation of young adults considered to be emotionally, physically or mentally challenged. During these years of his life, he was amazed at how with love, compassion and empowerment, these young people's lives changed, and they went from spending their days in bed to being able to look after themselves with assisted care. He pondered many hours on how life could have been for others who suffered from trauma and never reached their true potential or enjoyment of who they really are. This was a turning point for Herman. He realised that if these individuals could change so much, what was the possibilities of individuals with a greater capacity emotionally, physically and mentally? This is when he really dedicated himself to exploring his spiritual journey. Herman was drawn to the Eagle Heights Spiritual Centre on Mount Tambourine, and under the guidance of Elizabeth Kruger and her teacher Neil Gorman, he found his true calling in life. It was at this spiritual centre in 1987 when Mari Gorton entered Herman's life and she was to become his wife in March 1990. Guided by intuition and spiritual magnetism, Herman and Mari have shared their lives' passions, empowering and transforming many lives along the way. They have co-created and hosted numerous trainings, such as the Living Soul Spiritual Retreat. 
They established the Harmony Body and Mind Healing Centre in December 1989. This beautiful place in Narang, Queensland has been the home of many of their co-creations. We want to acknowledge behind every great man is a great woman. Mari supports, inspires and shines. In 1992-1993, Herman had what seemed to be a major setback, losing 90% of his sight in both eyes. Having the words from his teacher and mentor echoing in his mind, Herman, all you need to know is already in you. He found a great doorway opened into his inner sight, self-assessment and direction in life. During this time, the creation of the process of understanding the human body and the psychosomatic interaction with others began to clearly unfold. It was at this time that Herman began to research every avenue possible that was available to him to discover catalysts for change. Herman was seeking to create a somatic process to understand how our responses to our experiences shape our lives. The return of his sight enhanced his desire to spread and share his work even further. From this the psychosomatic process was birthed, and with that came the creation of retreats for spiritual growth and connection. This was the moment of divine inspiration. Herman wrote the guidance from the masters, which gave him much esoteric insights into the role that both the psyche and soul plays in the human experience. This is the source of the passion behind the grounded, systematic approach he developed to recognise a soul's potential in the human form. More than two decades on, Herman has taught thousands of people, inspired and changed the lives of many not only by direct contact, but through the 65 plus graduates and teachers globally who continue to spread the knowledge and share his work. As each individual embodies the work, they in turn positively affect every person they connect with and so continues the circle of life. The awareness of psychosomatics is growing at an exponential rate. As people are becoming more aware of the balance of body-mind connection, it is becoming the preferred path to healing and health. We wish to celebrate you, Herman, as a pioneer a teacher, a visionary and friend, the man who taught us how to transform. We look forward to your new work on how the psyche works with the somatic body to communicate with the sources of creation. We've heard you have put in a request for additional 79 years, so we hope they're listening up there. On behalf of us all, thank you for guiding us to our inner connection. We praise your dedication and inspiration. We love you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi Herman, this is Fayette and I'm Cynthia's first student and I'm loving every minute of this. Thank you so much. Thank you Herman for all the love and all the fun. Hi Herman and Mari. How are you today? I'm hoping you're good. I'm here and my name is Bernice Blackburn and I'm from Winnipeg and I love being a teacher because it gives me the privilege of doing all the beautiful things that I do for other people. And I do some wonderful things. So I can just say that that's the best thing I ever did in my life and I thank you, Herman. Hi, Herman and Murray. We're not at the, the what is it? Okay. Hi, Uncle Herman. Just wanted to say thank you for all your tireless efforts over the years and what a profound impact you've so many of my friends, so many of my clients, much love. Hey 
Instagram and it's Elaine, loving myself, loving life. Thank you for that and love you too. So hopefully, uh, eventually, I'll be with you again. Okay? So happy celebration. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hi Herman, this is Rosalie Livingston from Winnipeg. How are things going in beautiful Australia? Bye! Hey Herman, congratulations on becoming a life member. You've given me a lot to help me understand myself and a way to help others understand themselves. Hey Herman, I haven't seen you in a while, but uh, the impact that you brought into my life has been uh, long-standing and definitely uh, memorable. Congratulations and enjoy the celebration. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Herman, for the information. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Herman, it's Monique. L learning and studying with you has been a magnificent experience. Love you lots. Thank you, Herman, for creating this psychosomatics family. It's been wonderful to be involved and to discover myself as well as all these beautiful people. Thank you for creating the course, and I hope to learn more throughout the years. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> this is about Take 20. Hello, Herman and Mari. We're sending a big love to you both and a big acknowledgement for everything you've done for psychosomatic therapy. So much of your work has inspired what we do here at Soul Space. So enjoy the conference and we'll see you soon. We can't thank you enough um, for what you guys have done. Even today, I'm doing body mind analysis on people. We've got another full group of um, students for this November training. There's just so much momentum for this work and we're really excited about it. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and keep this dream alive. See you guys hey. later. Hey Herman Ma and Mari, it's Louise Arsney, Miss Lulu with Ease and Grace, talking to you from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I was a student of Herman's uh, in 2009. Uh, a blessing from the angels above because it was instrumental in opening me up and getting me to Australia to do the Harmony of the Soul and the Towards the Light with Herman and Maori. And I love you both very dearly for assisting me and opening up my pathways to my higher self and to my soul's energy on a higher level. Hi Herman, it's Margaret Ann. I took the program in uh, 2006 and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's opened up many doors for me. Thanks so much. Hello Herman. Greetings. Sending you many wishes and much love here from your homeland, from the Taj Mahal. Um, and I just wanted to come in and say hello and congratulations for this great honoring today from all your beautiful psychosomatic community who are there around you. Uh, wonderful for all the work that you have done over the years. Sending you much love and big hugs. Bye. Big love to you both. To you both. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gillian Madigan, Herman Muller's eldest daughter. I'd like to say thank you, Herman, for creating psychosomatic therapy. When I first came to Australia, it was really hard to actually fit in, so I became a keen observer. And when I moved to the Gold Coast and started working with Murray and Herman when they were, when they were developing psychosomatic therapy, it was a real eye-opener. All those observations that I made when I was younger, here was this tangible program that I could utilise and teach and use. It also... Herman also helped me spread my wings by pushing me into face reading, which is really, really cool. And now I've got so many readings under my belt, it's just amazing. It's developed my personality, my identity, and really made my world a whole place to live in. Because I utilise psychosomatic therapy in my social, my personal, and in my family life. And I am so grateful for all those moments of challenges, and yet all the love that's actually been put into it. Thank you so much, Dad. Don't give up. It's just the weight of the world When your heart's heavy, I, I will lift it for you Don't give up, because
Cause you want to be heard If silence keeps you, I, I will break it for you Just the hurt that you hide